Welcome back to another seltzer review. Ooh. We got a new one that's on the market. And where can you only find it at? Fred Meyers. Kroger stores. It is actually uh, a, what would you call it? Uh, Anheuser-Busch and Kroger came together to make this just for Kroger stores. So it's the same thing that Hot Valley did with Albertson Safely. Mm -hmm. Faded flannel line, if a lot of people don't know, which I know people don't know, they are a Hot Valley line of beer. Mm -hmm. Yep, so here it is. It is Social Club Seltzer with three flavors in there. Pardon the children running in the background. Hi. And we're about to uh, dive in and try these flavors. So subscribe, leave a like, and let us know if you've tried Social Club, and we'll let you know what the flavors are. So let's roll, roll it. it. Go with the Social Club. We're coming. It, it, uh, can't talk. You it told me. The social club came out just in time for social distancing. <laughs> well, should, <laughs> we the, should we get glasses then? We should have masks on, but yeah. no. That goes, <laughs> I can't, we can't be drinking full on. I gotta drive later. And these are 7%. I can't have three full socks. I'll finish it for you. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try to go through these real quick so you guys can like. Don't we have the same one? No, we don't. Uh, citrus <laughs> Gimlet. Okay, we'll start off with, we'll each try this one and then we'll jump Here, into we'll each one. We'll do this, because you got Sidecar, I got Old Fashioned, he's got Citrus. We'll all take sips of it and pass, pass it, it around. Oh my god. What? Are we, we talking do that about now? breaking social protocols oh my. during a pandemic? Yes. We're getting demonetized. I love it. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't monetized to begin with, so here we go. <laughs> They're going to come try to take him away, but he's going to be gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, he's got... I old have fashion. old fashioned. This one is called Sidecar. And we got Citrus um, Gimlet. You got the weird one. Gimlet, Gimlet. I guess it depends on how redneck you are, how you pronounce it. <laughs> they are coming in at 7% alcohol. Oh, God. There so the highest. <laughs> yeah. The highest alcohol percentage in a seltzer we've done on this show. Yes, I was going to say second highest in general. Yep. We haven't done the Smirnoff, which is 8%. But there is nice little uh, descriptions about yes. each of these. Okay, want to read these now or after we taste it? Uh, let's, let's taste it first. Let's taste it first so we get, and look the, at the cans. Uh, get the flavor. Top is this really cool copper color Ooh, on yeah. all of them. Look at that, really beautiful. It's not real copper in case you're trying to like score extra money, you can't just melt it. No, it's yeah. copper coated, I think. Ooh, so this one smells like Ooh. orange right off the bat. I don't even know what I'm getting in here. All right, here we go. We're just gonna try it, and we'll let you know what we think. Not gonna lie, this kind of smells like old lady perfume. Hey, <laughs> you are part of the '60s social club. All right, here we yeah. go. <laughs> Let's go, bombs up. Oh wow! Whoa! Uh, no. Wow! <laughs> I don't know what Gimle is, <laughs> but I'm fairly certain that's what I'm getting hints of. <laughs> I'm getting hints of an old fashioned, and I think it's I almost, got. I'm sorry. It's I've like, had a few old fashions. You know, <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is delicious. I mean, it is a okay. It's a dreamsicle flavor, but it is. A different type of a dreamsicle flavor, like an old fashioned, you could say, dreamsicle flavor. Like old fashioned? Yeah. <laughs> but it's got like that old, it just tastes vintage. See, these are, they're trying to mix uh, cocktails and seltzer. Wow. Um, and this one. <laughs> I don't know, should we, should we pass and see what. Uh, do we want to do the pass around? Or we can just open another one. Let's just do that. No, let's pass around, man. If, okay, we can open another one except for this one. I'm just. I mean, <laughs> if you guys taste okay, this, I'm, can, not, I'm not even going to lie. If, if we're not going to. If one of them kind of sucks. Sorry. Do 
we really want to open a bunch of them and have just a bunch of Oh, I guess that you did buy that's it. That's shit, you know? Okay, here we go. Oh, now we switch wait, it up. I said a bad word. Don't say bad words, people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's got an outside car. Okay, I've now got I got that. The citrus. One. You know, they all He's have got old fashioned. The sort of, same sort of smell to them. Oh, this is. Except for that. Yeah, yeah, you see that? Oh, this is ginger. Is that what that is? This is ginger. Uh, no wonder. I don't know how I feel about ginger. <laughs> yeah, it is. We do. We just exactly like ginger. You drink the whole damn <laughs> ginger drink last time. All right. <laughs> We've all swapped around. All right. So. Old fashioned. It bottoms is. up. There we go. Uh, second one of the night. Lord. Ooh, I love this one. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Right? Okay. Have you tried those little, those little ginger chew squares with like sugar on the outside? Have you guys tried those? No, you ever no, had those? That sounds terrible. Don't like ginger. Okay, at all. so there's. Let me know. <laughs> there's these little cubes, ginger cubes with like sugar on the outside. They're just little cubes of ginger. That's what this tastes like. Very um, organic style of ginger flavor going on here. Not my favorite, but I, it's. The flavor is like perfectly balanced though, so if you like ginger, like this will probably be something you will like. See, I Personally, I'm not a big fan, but I do enjoy this more than any of the other ginger drinks that I've had. I guess we can go with the colors of the can because I'm getting, like this has orange, and like you said, drain sickle. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that orangey, almost citrusy drain sickle. Right, it's, it know. is really good, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I right. really like this one. What do you got going on over here? It, it has like a raspberry note to it. Really? Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, oh. it's a cocktail, so raspberry, a bit of cherry to finish it off. It's quite dry, to be honest. Well, Let's we'll leave those, those in a second. Yeah, exactly. All right, here, you All take right, this but... one, you take this one, and I'll take this one. But so, you, you enjoy this one more yeah, than that Yeah, actually. One? Um, or this one, I'm sorry. I was like, wait, sidecar. Yeah, I was like, please do not hand me that first one back. It was like drinking old lady perfume to me. I'm sorry, anybody that loves ginger out there, power do ya. Me personally, yeah. I would rather Same here. choke on the rock. Well, we we tried the... Um, and by rock, I mean with what the What was that brand called? Oh, that was... Um, oh, the, the kombuchas. Yes, the just... Oh, God. And oh, it was fierce. Those? It was like an well, insane. A couple of ginger. them were really good, and then we had one called the Royal Ginger. That was it. And Go watch it. I took like two sips. I was like, I'm done. And our thing is, we have to pound these when we're done. Excuse and me. Uh, Justin had I the, pounded it. The, op, the good luck it of burnt pounding my throat. the whole rest of the can because I would not do it. And all he could taste was ginger the rest of the night. <laughs> so uh, Henry's came out with those hard sodas. They were the first line on them. And their first flavors were the orange soda, which was fantastic. I love that one. It's great. Yeah. Um, the grape soda, I felt like I was out of my element. Right. Um, but the ginger <laughs> one, a lot of people who love ginger said it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. To me, I just wanted to you know, throw up repeatedly because it would have tasted better to me. Yep. I you know, ginger. I am proud. Uh, I hate ginger and we save the best for last. So here we go. Obviously Wait. I'm thinking it's going to go best, second best, least best. That might actually end up. So. <laughs> you got a lot of red in there. Are you ginger? Is oh. this considered cannibalism? I want to know this before we. I actually know. am not. I'm like Scottish, so I don't want to go like Sean. Well, Coworker Sean level gingers. Ooh, <laughs> uh, that is what I consider semi ginger. Quarter I ginger? just have like some in here. Yeah, that's Mostly. what I'm seeing. So it's yeah. like I don't. I have a soul, people. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Ginger. Soul. He has a soul. <laughs> I'm trying now. Old fashioned. <laughs> Even if it's he's just got mostly part of one. <laughs> Sidecar, and he's got the gimlet. Yeah. So here we I go. I'm super excited for this one, people. Bottoms up with Social Club. <laughs> Watching you about drink, that makes me want to toss. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? Holy margarita. Isn't that good? That is fantastic. Like, right? throw that over some ice on a hot day, kick me back in the lawn chair. I'll sit there and watch your kids scream. You know the, the weird thing? 
I was like setting up for disappointment with this thing. It is not I bad get though. more lime, Do like you? a citrusy lime flavor than, or like, almost like a uh, an off-brand Sprite with like a little hint of ginger. I don't get that, that boom. So are we talking like Sam's Club lime? Yes. Okay, yeah, it, I guess it did have a hint of lime, but it, was, it really tastes like that old like hard candy ginger. It See, wasn't like... And that's the thing. I'm not even getting like... Maybe it's my taste buds. I'm not getting heavy ginger out of this. Mm. I, like... It, it could be to eat your own. I taste... We both... I don't know. He didn't know what the heck he was drinking. I, I'm the same with this. I don't know what the flavor is on this. I, I taste well, a bit of cherry and raspberry with that one. You know what we should do now is read the descriptions on the sides. Okay, so we made it oh. through the drinks. Hopefully you made it this yeah, far. Eat. Now, each of these yes. have a little description <laughs> on the can for each. Uh, we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Sorry about that. I'm having right. children, you know. So, we're going to read these little descriptions they have on the backs of each can. We'll start with, who wants to go first? Um, do you want to go? I'll go ahead and do it first. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. Huh. Let our drunken brains try to process this information. You get two we'll points. Go, we'll start that. on this side. <laughs> go ahead, Jeff. All right, so we got this sidecar, right? So this one I liked. That one Tim's holding tastes like garbage. Um, wet garbage. I think this was actually the best out of them. Uh, the old fashioned to me was pretty good. I, I tasted notes of raspberry and cherry personally. But so back to the sidecar. Sidecar introducing social club seltzer where classic cocktails meet refreshing seltzer. Upgrade your night with a sidecar. A refreshing seltzer with the flavor of orange and lemon citrus and a hint of caramel notes. So that caramel kind of gives it that cream flavor. Right, know? right. And that orange is where we came with the orange dream mm -hmm. type of flavor. I don't really taste that whole uh, lemon in there. I, I think there's a bit of a hint uh, between when you first initially, when it hits your tongue, mm -hmm. right after that, there's like a glimpse of that lemon flavor and then it's like boom, smooth yeah, you, caramel flavor. You mainly finish. get that orange and the, the caramel on that. They're overbearing. Not yeah. that it's a bad thing. Yeah, not not in a bad way, but they take over that that other one, and it's it's like a really good blend. Yeah. Because the going back to our Kona video, the problem I have with seltzers is when there's no flavor to it, even though you're expecting flavor. Right. And, and these have plenty of flavor. These ought to be overall, even if it's bad. These three <laughs> yeah. flavors are are just top flavor like mm -hmm. there's a ton of flavor carbonation low and they're seven percent so you're gonna get a good kick and you're they're just you're gonna want to drink more because the flavor is there yeah, yeah. but all right so the, the one out of this one old-fashioned okay this says mm -hmm. introducing social club seltzer where classic cocktails meet refreshing seltzer start your night with a new twist on the classic old-fashioned a reflect, refreshing seltzer with notes of stone fruit and orange flavor with a hint of smoky oak aroma. Stone and orange. Wow. A lot old, of stuff in here I've never thing. tasted I in know. my entire life. <laughs> like, I got raspberry and cherry. How far <laughs> off was I? Smoky <laughs> oak aroma? Maybe it was the smoke. Yeah, uh, because whenever I smoke, shit tastes different. Yeah, pizza tastes like okay. hamburgers. Uh, like <laughs> hamburger pizza. Hey, whoa. I'm gonna have to look up stone. I'm gonna have to look up stone fruit, guys. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I have never I, heard of stone fruit. Maybe that's what you're getting. Really? Yeah. Does it? Is it has like? A, does it have? Uh, does it have like? We're a starting to slurp. Well, type of flavor to it. Now that you know we're covering bases here, um, stone fruit does have that fruity sort of, um, I guess, I would say Sweet. more towards, yeah, um, kind of like a cherry flavor, raspberry, it's more on the bitter side to me, okay. uh, maybe that's my palate, I don't know, but mm -hmm. I have had stone fruit, it, it's good, I'm, I'm not going to say I'd sit there and Maybe that mixed with like the orange yeah, that, flavor, get the orange. that what, could be like why, kind of twisting it together, but that smoky oak, it kind of, tops the whole thing off and gives it this different type of flavor. Right. It's different and that's why it's good because 
I don't think I've tasted anything like this. No, to I'm, be honest. Yeah, and honest. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, it, and to be honest, I mean, wow. I've, I've had some off the wall stuff. Like mm. I said, with that seek out seltzer, mm. they didn't have one single flavor that was just like something normal. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they had the cucumber with juniper, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm drinking a flower. Yeah. You know, but this, um, knowing that it's a stone fruit, um, I can get why. You know. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. it, it is. It I does. It's not it. bad. And it's just uh, really, really different. Well, and I was gonna go back to what you said. Is like, I would say these are the most unique seltzer yeah. flavors I've ever tried. They are. And like, they did meet the hype that you were giving them. Yeah, like I, there's I, flavor. I saw the package and I saw like, oh, they're going with this like '60s vibe, this classic, yeah. you know, '50s, '60s just classic social club you know and they had all these wacky names like like we're talking about and it, it just i don't know it, there's something that i just saw it and i'm like i have to try that i don't care I, i'm not a big seltzer guy but i have to try these and i'm kind of really glad i did because they're so unique these are good i would bring these somewhere to like like a party or out you know picnic out into the river this right. is something i would bring because it's the flavors it's kind of the summery type of flavors real and vibrant real strong you know that's <clears throat> not quite the old fashioned i remember and mm -hmm. you know at least when you know my lady would tell me i'm getting an old fashioned but um i i have to say <laughs> i do have to say though it it literally screams like cheers Taxi, like oh, I, I'm yeah. feeling like a New show York 1950s. A... Yeah, yeah, you know, good job. Color like, back when people would actually go have a cocktail somewhere, wear suits all the doll day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, when, I mean, that's why a good name is Social Club because it reminds me of that 50s social, right? Like just that environment, you know, of movies and TV because obviously we're not old enough to be. Oh, back in my day, you know. <laughs> but well, actually, we are. Back in my day, we had dial-up. We're all in our thirties yeah. here, <laughs> so if yeah. you want to go that, but I'm talking like back when back in right, the, day. Know, this area. All right. Okay. <laughs> Moving so, on. If we go to this one, which is everybody's least favorite, hmm. let's see. Introducing Social Club Seltzer, where classic cocktails meet refreshing seltzer. Trade up to a citrus gimlet, a perfectly balanced seltzer cocktail with bright citrus notes and a hint of juniper flavor. And see, unlike you guys, I'm mainly getting the citrus in this one. I'm not. Juniper. Yeah, we Not thought ginger. it was ginger, but it's actually juniper. So you blend those two together, you're gonna get a ginger style flavor. Mm -hmm. To some people, see, obviously got a different flavor. So. One I back digress. to what uh, Jeff said, like the one I forget the name of it, but the one that you tried, the cucumber two, juniper. Yeah, it was from cucumber Seacat. juniper. Tasting that already, you're always you're already like, oh, this juniper flavor, I don't like. You know, so it's already been in, implanted in you. I've never had it, so for some reason, I'm getting <coughs> the citrus first with the underlay of juniper. See. And, and it's not as bad to me. Even though it's out of the three, it's still my number three. But it's as far as like, I mean, if I drank, you know, if we drank the rest of them and this is all I had left, eh, I'd still drink it. It's drinkable. You know? So basically what you're saying is, um, even though I probably wanted to throw up from having a drink from it, to you it's tolerable. Yeah, it's, it's, I would not, if I had a chance to buy singles, I would not look this one up to mm -hmm. buy it. <laughs> Same. But if it ends well, up in your variety pack, you're yeah. not going to just throw I'm, it aside. I'm sure, like, just because, hey, there's three flavors, there's three of us. We all know which one we like the most. We all know which one we like the second. And even though this one, I know you guys, you would puke. Justin's just like, eh, I don't like this. It's... It's it's not the best, but it's one of those where it's like, yeah, sure, let me try that. Again. It, it's not like that that ginger royal ginger we had, where I'm like, no, or I even the Henry's that was yeah, way wow. too much. Juniper, 
Yummy. Yeah, I mean, kind of want to throw up in my mouth thinking. Want to take another sip? Um, do you want me to be scrubbing your floor for the rest of the night? Yeah, they Jeff, do. You I know what? All right, we're going to pound these real quick and then we're done. <laughs> what Jeff's thinking is you make me want to yeah. take a shit. All right, that is it for this review. Thanks, guys, for watching so much. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> Leave a comment which one of these are your favorite from Social Club. You can only find them at Kroger stores. We didn't give them number reviews, but as far as like very, very unique. Yes. And number Very one, unique. Sidecar. Sidecar, sidecar right I here. Two Old Fashioned. Three, three on that Citrus diesel. Gimlet. Yep. Yeah. And I'll, the whole, as a variety pack, I'm going to give the whole variety pack a seven because the flavors are on point. They're delicious. They're different. They have full flavors. Not a lot of carbonation. 7% alcohol. Go give it a try. No, that's a valid point. I mean, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you won't. It, yeah, it well, is bold. It's there. It lingers. It is. It, it's it's still, not a bad linger. Yeah. Well, and going back to our Royal Ginger, like, we hated it. That was our best-selling one. It's 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 like so some, much flavor. Somebody will love this as their favorite one. Let me know if you're the and, one who loves that one. Yeah. I would say for me, out of... Out of the good two out of two out of three being really good unique flavors and the uniqueness overall, I'm gonna give it an eight. Like, I was gonna give it an eight. I, I'm gonna. I don't I, know why I didn't. I almost said eight point five, but this knocked down a point five. This one actually knocked down the, that whole point because, I, to be honest, this one is not bad, but it's just I don't know. But this one really threw me off. I've never had stone fruit. And I've never had smoky oak aroma on top of an orange. Well, you have now. <laughs> so I have now. <laughs> it's just really weird flavors. But it's all there. Like, you get the whole flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not hinted. It's just a full flavor drink. Yeah. And this one is just freaking amazing. It is. Old-fashioned really style good. flavor. It's That's what that should be. It I'll, screams classic, like, you know. Sidecar. Yeah, well, you know, husband and wife, 60s, yeah. with their two kids. You One got of those the classic old clothes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Like oh, when you're cool. allowed to actually go outside and go to the ice cream truck and get an orange creamsicle. Oh, so the before times. Before, before, the before times. times. Before we had social distancing. The land before times. Dude, Speaking of that, <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the military trains you better than this, Justin. <laughs>